and welcome to my new apartment. Um, I'm gonna be doing an apartment tour very, very soon, probably in a couple weeks because it's still not organized, things are still over the place and I'm not sure what I'm doing with some stuff and I need more furniture. Well, not necessarily, but, but necessarily. Um, so disregard the mess in the background. Today I'm going to be spray painting my nightstand from Ikea. Um, it's originally like black brown and today it's gonna be metallic. Um, this isn't the color I'm using, but this is the brand, uh, Rust Rust-Oleum. Um, I'm probably gonna use this black on something else. I'm not sure quite yet what it will be. Um, and then I'm gonna cover it in, I'm gonna cover the top of it in this marble contact paper. I also ordered um, this silver one, which I really, really think is cool and shiny. I'm just not sure, now that I have it, what I will do with it. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, until then, I'm pretty confident I'm sticking with the marble and the silver. So stick around and see how it turns out. So I started out with a pretty basic Ikea nightstand. Um, I tested out some spray paint on a not so small area. <laughs> um, I wanted to see if I even liked silver before I moved forward with it. Turns out I did. I'm using Rust-Oleum's metallic spray paint. I grabbed a little box top to kind of help stop the wind blowing all the paint all over the place and I covered my window with some seamless paper just because I am messy and what will go wrong can go wrong. I'm sure there's a better and more professional way that you're supposed to do this but I am the laziest DIYer and this is how I did it. If you want to do a second coat, do a second coat and wait for it to dry. Um, I grabbed some old soda bottles from this delicious soda and some fake roses for really cheap. They were like a dollar. And then this like crystal, crushed crystal stuff that you can find for like five dollars at Ikea. Um, and I poured them into the bottles. I was trying to do this in the not messy way and I ended up making a big huge mess. Not as big as maybe I would have if I didn't use that cup. Stick the roses in the cups and you have a cute little decorative table item. <laughs> I pretty much did this around my whole house. I have so many, I'm obsessed with like glass jars and vases and bottles. So I filled up all of them with these little crystals and put flowers in them. This one's on my kitchen countertop. And I put these little, I don't know what those are. So it's looking like my nightstand is pretty dry. I did a little touch test. Now it's time to grab that contact paper. Um, I couldn't find my tape measure, everything is still in boxes from the move so I kind of did like an eyeball measurement and then I cut the paper down to a size leaving enough space for error um, I did take a sharpie and I kind of just marked the end of the nightstand and like where I would begin sticking it if that makes any sense Pulling off the adhesive was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to make a huge mess and mess up all the paper. So I measure, match the mark to the end of the table and begin sticking. I used a little credit card 
to kind of help me get the bubbles out. Because you don't want bubbles on your table. You want it to look like it's real marble. I was pushing down pretty hard and it didn't cut the paper or make it messed up in any type of way. And I just was slowly pulling the, the sticky paper from underneath the marble paper. <laughs> Make sure everything's out and then trim off any extra paper that you left. These scissors are pretty sharp so it made it really easy to get rid of the extra paper. And here's the end product. I'm really happy with it. It looks really cute. The marble doesn't look like paper. I was really excited about that. Still haven't decided how I'm gonna decorate it though. If you like these type of videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and visit she'savegan.com.